Um, first and number one, obviously, and this is not just me talking, this is worldwide, everyone now is uh, giving this as a guideline that uh, find a good care provider who has a 70 to 80% VBAC success rate. This is super important for anybody who is scouting for a birthplace to have a um, place of birth to have a VBAC. Um, this is something that they should be looking for. So asking good questions when you go into your care provider. How many VBACs do you do in a month or in a year? What is the success rate of your, what is your VBAC success rate? Um, or even asking simple questions like what will happen after 40 weeks? What do, what do you think are some of the important things for you to facilitate a VBAC? So for example, example if the care provider says I don't do that many VBACs or if she says for example that you know what in my in my practice I will wait only till 40 weeks I will not go past XYZ date or if your baby is bigger than 3 kgs I will not do a VBAC then these can be some of the alerts that you would want to put into your mind and maybe walk out of there thinking I should look for another second opinion or third opinion and that will increase your chance of finding a care provider who not only gels with you in your mindset and helping you to have this uh, VBAC but also who has the skills and who has the confidence to help you to have the VBAC. Um, that you want. Um, the second thing, the second thing then is to find a hospital with an overall low cesarean rate. It makes sense, doesn't it? So if the if the hospital has an overall low cesarean rate, it means that they probably have the uh, more patience and more skills to help for a normal delivery to happen in the first place. So your chance of having a VBAC in this kind of a hospital setting would then become much higher than a hospital with an overall high C-section rate. Um, the other thing then is to get a good support partner. Uh, whether it is your husband, whether it is finding a doula, it, I know in India there are not that many doulas are good, uh, you know, available, but a doula can be anybody. They can be even your friend as, or they can be your partner or they can be your mom or your sister as long as they are very calm and they are not anxious. Anxiety and fear do not belong in the labor room, any labor room, whether it's the first time, second time, third time, or especially a VBA, anxiety and fear don't belong there. So finding somebody with you who can support you, who is there only for you. Remember the care provider will be there with you, but the, your partner, your family, somebody who is there only for you, who is encouraging you, increases the chance of having a VBA. Uh, by quite a bit. 